This longing to return to our homeland is 2,000 years old, and it's a chain that went from generation to generation and has wound up with us. Herzl was a polypotentialite. He had skills and knowledge in so many areas, from law to journalism to theater, science and technology. He also understood economics. He knew that the country that he envisioned required a fiscal system. It needed a working economy and building it would require capital. So in 1898, at the Second Zionist Congress, the delegates resolved to create the Jewish Colonial Trust, which was established under the laws of England in 1899. It sold shares around the world to raise the required capital. Sometimes these shares were purchased on installments. People would put down 10 cents or 10 pence at a time, got a little sticker that they put in a book, and when the book was completed, they could buy a share. Hundreds of thousands of Jews from around the world bought shares in this way. My great-grandparents who lived in Mulch in Belarus also bought shares and became shareholders and this was a great source of pride for them that they were able to help in the creation and the financing of the Jewish homeland. For all of these people this was a tangible way to help build the land of Israel. The Jewish Colonial Trust then established the Anglo-Palestine Bank which created branches in Jerusalem, Jaffa, Tiberias, Tzfat, and if you can believe it, in Beirut and in Gaza. The Anglo-Palestine Bank took deposits and made loans for the settlement and development of Eretz Israel. One of those loans was the funds used to buy what is now the city of Tel Aviv. The Anglo-Palestine Bank ultimately became the National Bank of the State of Israel when independence was declared in 1948. It issued Israel's first currency. That bank is now, through a series of restructurings and amalgamations, the Bank Leumi, one of Israel's largest banks. Herzl had a picture in his mind about what the Jewish state would look like. He wrote that picture down in a book which we will discuss in our next episode.